Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Forged in Shadow Torch where today we're going swimming. Doesn't everybody just love swimming? Isn't it the best? Did we, did I go already? Are we already there? Uh, no. I thought I had, I don't know, maybe it didn't save after the trip. Listen, it's fine. Uh, we'll just, we'll just take the trip again. I probably didn't like, I took the train over, but then I didn't touch a, uh, a checkpoint or a teleporter, so I guess maybe the subway doesn't actually save. It's weird. It's the only traversal, the area, only area traversal thing that doesn't save, but whatever. I'm sure we're going to need this, so we want to go over and down. The, uh, the other over, your other over. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, no, that is a dead end. Way at the right end of the plat of the uh, area, it looked like a thing that we could have punched through. The right end of that hallway up there, but I guess not. Hey, silly bunny, are you uh, there? It's me. I'm at the underground level. Sorry, I'm in a tricky situation over on my end. The ancient complex is guarded around the clock by the Cat Clan. I'll wait for you there. You must first find a special spark though. What does she mean no second guess? It doesn't even spark. Okay. Don't worry. All right, Copy. okay. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense as a response to any part of the... Uh, so do we want to just drop straight down? I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to know. Aw, oh, there we go. I was really hoping to get into the uh, into the tornado before we could be disturbed, so that it would wipe out the drone. Okay. There you go. That's a technique. But if I just attack, what if I just attacked in the wrong direction until it got me completely clear of all the enemy attacks? Three failed parries in a row. Four. Four failed parries in a row. Fine, let's stop fighting like I am even a tiny bit good at this. Is green guy dead? Green guy... Okay, green guy also seems to be dead. So. Is this destructible? It seems... Okay, it is definitely a... Uh, it's definitely a thing that is marked on the map, but probably we're going to pick up whatever it is allows us to destroy uh, barriers underwater while we're down here. Whoa, what happened there? Hmm. I suddenly was not traversing anymore, and I'm not sure why. I guess let's look down here. Where did that additional fish come from? So this doesn't look like anything. It's just a weird alcove for no reason. That's another thing that's not going to be breakable for us yet. That's a new enemy. What a strange area this is. Expecting him to pull some disappearing axe stuff. Maybe, maybe we've finally worn them down. At this point, the frog clan knows there's no point. They're just gonna die tired. Ah, that's why it looked like that because it was a door that would close, not because it was one that was closed or something. Ah, 
Ow. Yeah, that'll knock me out of my combo for sure. Ah, damn it. Yep, that's exactly what that's supposed to look like. Is it not? There we go. I was trying to do the dive. The dive is always the solution. It, it gets, it kills everything. It's always right, but it is real cantankerous. It does not like to go off. You hold up and hit K, and about half the time it just does the standing K. Why is there a little shelf in here? It doesn't seem to actually be... Hmm. Weird. Okay. up remarkably little fight. Ow. Well, at least I fell directly into water. Is this forward? It's hard to tell. I'm certainly going somewhere. If they, uh, if they actually fire that projectile at you, it's already too late. You don't really have the option of avoiding cleanly underwater. And sadly, dashing directly at it with the drill spin uh, does not make you safe from it. You definitely still get shot. This isn't... Oh, no, okay, that is forcible. Ow. Why did I think I'd be able to dash forward? There's a frog right in front of me. Okay, I guess these aren't going to turn off. It's weird considering they weren't on when I came in. They like they <clears throat> they started up after we entered the room, and they just blow eternally from there forward. Well, that was pretty cool. They had to black out the screen. The thing we did to that guy was too horrible to show on camera. I mean, that honestly, we are wielding a giant drill. It's not that hard to imagine. Even if they are robots. You know, like, even as a little kid, it was very clear to me that the Foot Clan in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were robots because they didn't want to necessarily... They wanted to show the turtles getting to, like, do cool martial arts stuff with swords and whatnot, but they didn't want to show them dismembering people. But I was always like, well, that's, like... That's screwed up, because, like, robots is people. Come on. Even even tiny little Espy, so confused about so many things in the world, was like, come on, robots is people. Ow. 
Wow. Okay, all right. Am I allowed to... F mm. It does look like there's something down, doesn't it, on the map? Uh, sorry, that's all I meant to do. I meant to do this. Yeah, kind of, sort of. I don't know. Let's not worry about it for right now. What even are these? They're not just like naturally occurring sea monsters. They're clearly robots. They were built for, for something. They're clearly robots and as such people, and they're down here for a reason. Okay, well, it's welcome enough. Thought I could just squeeze under it. And that does seem like what you're supposed to do. It's like really, really long water traversal segments. Oversteered just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's very easy for me to do that, for me to be like, oh, that's a step too far. Let's hold the other direction for three to four full seconds. This'll this'll solve the problem. Okay, well, this was certainly uh, a valuable place to discover. Okay, that just slides down. Yeah, the, um... You usually think of the, um... Things that help you increase your meter as stuff that's, like, tucked away in secret places. And that feels like a secret you're earning it kind of thing except for the teleporter that's down there that feels like a completely necessary uh traversal tool weird okay does this turn off ever or i think we might be uh I think we might be trapped on this one for the moment. Ah! I see. I see. I see. You're sort of like clumsily three dimensional. Alright. Well, I'll just wait here then. This is a really long time between, um, between passes. That's wild. And again, I like, I'm very curious what the role of this creature is like why this is why this is here why they designed it to do this ow one last one last spiteful tail strike for the road well this seems significant unlike a place I definitely should not be allowed to be Been a minute since we've seen one of these. Super drill charge. Thing. Okay. Hold J to build up power. Okay. Charge. So. A charge up first. Sure. ability I picked up is a real kicker. <laughs> you can't just comment on like gaining abilities. Of course. Say the video game words out loud. 
If it's one of your inventions, then why would it be here? And also, why would you not have just given... Uh, okay. None of this works. None of this works at all. We're just gonna focus on the gameplay. Alright, am I gonna be able to use this to shortcut away back out of here, though? Oh, wow. The answer is yes, in, in case you were wondering. Uh, we should probably... Yeah, wow. I appreciate that they don't make you do... Ow. I appreciate that they don't make you do the charge-up version to break stuff, because that would be annoying and tedious in the same way that doing so for the punch doors is. So, like, they learned their lesson later in the design of the game. Oh, I thought I would just get past it. I'm assuming that thing is still not destructible with the tools that I have here. All that for just a plant seed? I mean, I could see that it was a plant seed on the map, but I was kind of hoping it was also going to be more. Well, again, if you think about how highly they value just like some coins. I suppose it makes sense that all that could be for for just a plant seed. This might be where I have to charge. Yep. Okay. Oof, the wind up on that attack is murder. Like the um, whatever it is they've done here graphically to like blur all of the stuff underwater. It is unpleasant to look upon with my human eyes, my more or less human eyes. Ow! So many frog bots. That's a pretty cute poster. I wonder if they like are really intending that you will just be using the whip most of the time for combat after getting it. Like, is the whip intended to feel kind of like a um Kind of like a straight upgrade from the drill in situations where you don't have to be using the drill. Because, I mean, that frog fight would definitely have been easier if I had been using the drill and just spamming the hell out of the light attack button and letting it handle all of the aiming for me. But I don't know. I feel like I'm barely actually doing the combat when I do that. Okay, apparently we're just, we're just going to get... Moved wherever it wants to move us. Oh no, underwater boss fight. Oh, I don't like this.
really overestimated the affected area there. Yes, thank you, objective thing. A thing that is not clear to me is whether we can also hit the red segments. Because the red segments don't they don't seem to have spikes on them or anything. And I'm assuming that you're supposed to go for the green, right? That's that's how video games traditionally work. Oh my god, it has so many destructible s segments. And by destructible, I mean mandatory to destroy, I'm imagining. Oh cool, it has fake out maneuvers. Great. At least it's dropping health for us. Now who's the drill fish? I gotta admit, I'm not trying very hard not to get shot. I should probably have more concern for my well-being. I'm putting like a token amount of effort into dodging the gunfire. Ah, I missed. Oh, see, it's for the best. If I'd hit that initial, well, those several initial attacks, I only would have destroyed one segment. Ow. Yep. Okay, once that starts hitting you, you can't move. Or you can't evade it anymore. Attempting to start up the, uh, the engine just gets you hit. not going super well. What? Oh my god, you have to be so precise. Well, this sucks. Okay, so this time we're just... There's no, like, pattern or exploitability to this, though. Like, it just comes in and does one of 15 different things. And some of them contain fake-outs, and some of them are the same. Some of the, like, movement patterns through the room are the same as other ones for 10% of their length, or 15% of their length, or... Stupid intro cinematics are unskippable, even though this one is really long for some reason. those health things in the water. I wonder how long they'll persist. Seems like the answer is quite a while, actually. I was expecting them to fade, like, very quickly.
Because this feels like, I mean, it's going well, but this feels like the way it was going last time, too. Right up until the laser. The big laser happened, then everything fell apart. Ow. Okay, so the health things don't last forever. They are gone now. But it's, it's a considerable amount of time. Okay, managed ourselves a little bit better on that one. Yeah, the, the green segments that are just a single segment, like, surrounded by spikes, are really frustrating to hit. Yep, it will just, it will just, not, it will find you, no matter where you are. It doesn't actually seem to pick a movement pattern until, until it has decided how it's going to hit you, and then it just does that, whatever it is. And you can't use the dash to quickly dash out of the way because it takes so long to recover from it and you need it available for attacking. Otherwise, if you use it to just, uh, just try to evade, you're going to be in the uh, recovery frames forever. Yeah, screw this like variable speed thing. One more segment left. know how many game developers and aspiring game developers watch my YouTube videos. And listen, I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert in the field. I've only made a couple of small games, basically nobody's played any of them. And you know, like, caveat, etc. But I'm going to give you this piece of advice at the maximum strength that I possibly can. Just don't put large portions of your action game underwater. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. Nobody's ever been happy about it. Well, I mean, we're obviously supposed to drop down there and grab the spark, but also, just as obviously, it is a trap. So let's just take a second here and collect a bunch of currency that we don't need. Have a look over here. This seems wise. Don't know what kind of trap it is just yet, but I figure I may as well get all of my equipment points back. All right, let's go find out. completely dead robot eyes. So this is going to unlock the other thing that is down where the door with the four-piece lock is. Hmm. I wonder if I just, like, missed a bunch of opportunities or something? Like, it feels like I should have a lead on at least a second piece of the, um... Uh, at least the second piece of that key by now, right? Ow. Okay. 
fun. You can tell I'm having a good time on the adventure because of how heavily I'm drinking. Is there anything up and to the right? There's not. It used my double jump before it used my single jump. Come on. Okay, that's just down at the front, though. There's not really a good reason for me to do this. I wonder... I mean, I could just... I was having complicated ideas, but I always could just do this, right? I can't believe he let me do that. Is that the missing? Yep, okay. There's all these tiny little bits of this area missing because I didn't want to spend the time to fill things in because moving around underwater sucks ass. Nope. Let me... Oh my god, you're so finicky with the execution placement. Oh my god, you are so finicky with the foot placement. It's like, I can't even hurl myself into Toxic Sludge for a little bit, just for a minute. Well, okay, that works. myself on absolutely nothing there. And of course it's a stupid frog. Oh, it's not one of the one that not one of the ones that charges afterward. Okay. Was that worth the effort? No, not even a little bit. All right, the key is not to put forth the effort to stand on every platform. Many of the platforms are superfluous. Effort is for suckers. So, let's see. There's a whole area down and left that we didn't explore. There's some doors. Yeah, gosh, there's a lot of stuff we couldn't do the first time through. And I, I really would like to... I am going to I am gonna attempt to stick to getting all the stuff out of here. Um, and if we're going to do that, let's do it right now so I don't have to come back. Because water. Was that really... all that was in here was an enemy? That's pretty weird. Yeah, 
Okay, I thought so. So we're gonna go through here. Guess I was just like a tiny bit too low. Damn it. This actually sucks a ton. Yeah, you go so fast. Okay. The uh, the next one goes in the opposite direction. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure this is meant to be traversable. That's a little frustrating because I actually did make contact with the fan while in charge mode and it just didn't disable. Maybe I'm rethinking whether I am going to want to... Oh my god, and it's gonna. It has unmapped all of the stuff that we mapped. This fucking game. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Uh, that's gonna be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hate that very much with my entire heart and soul. I'm just gonna go ahead and map this area off camera, and then. Or not, maybe not. I don't know. When you come back next time, tomorrow, I will have decided whether or not we're, we're going to give up on 100% in this game because the water areas suck so much. Uh, and if I've decided that we are doing them, I will have already done them. So y'all don't have to sit through them. <laughs> Only I need to suffer. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you then. <laughs>